Hey guys, welcome to my channel. To all of my old subscribers as well as my new subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. This is a channel dedicated completely to narcissism, more specifically having a father as a narcissist. So I encourage you all to continue to share your stories with us. It helps us all out. And in today's video, I would like to discuss life after discovering your, far your father is a narc. So this can also go for when you discover your mother is a narc, your wife is a narc, your best friend is a narc, your, bo your boss is a narc. Just the fact that you've discovered that, oh my God, it's finally clicking. I'm not crazy. They actually are a narcissist. Okay, so prior to me finding out that my father was a narcissist, I was very, I didn't have any idea really what narcissism was. I had heard people talk about it before, but I didn't realize the depth of narcissism. I didn't realize the effects it had on people. I didn't realize it was something that couldn't be cured. I really didn't have any idea about it. I just thought it was someone that just likes to talk about themselves and just loves themselves. I did not realize that it was a sickness. That it's literally a sickness and it greatly, greatly, greatly affects those around you. So when I first... Um, discover what narcissist was I began looking on the internet looking on the internet going on YouTube like some of you guys and just typing in narcissists narcissist traits personality disorders I always felt like something was off like something was not right um, but I just couldn't put my finger on it so I would go on the internet and I would just type in like different traits I would type in scenarios different things that I had gone through with my father and one of the things that kept standing out was narcissist. So when I started to read about it, it sounded like this huge, ugly, terrifying disorder. And I did not want to accept that these were the traits that my father was displaying. I'm like, oh no, there's no way that this could be my father. My father loves me. He adores me. He's been around my whole life. Some people haven't even had their fathers around. You have been, you know, you're so lucky and so blessed to have had him. How could you possibly think that something is wrong with him? And how could you possibly think that he has done something to damage you? I actually started to feel guilty. I started to feel like I was this ungrateful person who wasn't appreciative that of someone who had their father there. And I started to feel like I didn't deserve to have him as a father. And so for a long time, I would go back and forth with this. I would read up about narcissists. I would get books. I would watch videos. And I'd be like, no, no, what are you thinking? There's no way this could be your father. Let it go. Move on. You need to change. You know, you need to figure out a different way to approach your father. If you're arguing with him, maybe it's you. Maybe you need to find a way to not argue with him, you know. And so I had this internal battle that, I continue to just fight with myself over and over and over again, trying to figure out what the heck was wrong. So I did try to change different things about myself. I tried to be, I tried to be nicer. I tried to accommodate him more. I tried to do things a little differently, but I always got the same results. So I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm changing things up. I'm not doing it the same. Like, what is the problem? And so finally, finally, there was a situation where we had a huge, huge, huge argument. And I will make a separate video going into more details about that, like the exact day um, of me discovering and me accepting that he was a narcissist. And we had this huge, big argument. And some of the things that he said and some of the things that he done, that he did to me during those times, I knew was not normal. I knew that there was just no way that any of these things were okay. So I continue to dig, dig deeper into narcissism and I continue to educate myself, read more books, listen to more videos, watch more videos. And I saw so many stories, so many stories of people who were just like me, people who were just like me, who had gone through so much with their parents, with their sister, with their grandparents, their boss, their friends, their significant others. And I was like, oh my God, it's true. I had to accept it. So the acceptance process, um, it comes easier to some, but for me, it was a very hard pill to swallow. It was a lot to accept, a lot to deal with, um, accepting and discovering that your entire childhood was a lie, finally realizing that it makes sense, 
that all the craziness, all the things that didn't add up, it finally had an answer to it. And I realized I had been discovering, I had been looking for this my whole life. So discovering it was like that peace of mind. But then after you discover it, then comes the shock. Like, oh my God, this person has like this plan against me and this person is going to continue to be like this. There's so much to accept. So for me, life after discovering that my father was a narcissist, it changed my whole entire world. It changed the way I felt about my childhood. It changed the way I felt about my father. It changed the way I felt about my mother, my siblings. And one thing that is true for anyone that they can tell you this, that have discovered that someone close to them is a narcissist, you start to see it in other people around you, especially if you're codependent. Codependents naturally attract narcissists. So if you are codependent, you start to see it all around you. You start to notice that these traits are not just in the person like that you discovered them in initially. They're not just in my father. I discovered that they were in some of my friends, that they were in people that I worked with, uh, my bosses, some of my other relatives that it wasn't just in him and the craziness that I was experiencing with these other people this was also something that started to make sense and so I kind of started to weed those people out of my life I tried to figure out a way how can I get rid of these people no one needs narcissism in their life like it's totally completely damaging to you so if you can find a way to get around it to minimize uh, the people that you interact with that have narcissism then do it if you're working somewhere and you can't afford to just you know quit your job or change departments or something like that I would highly highly suggest minimizing the amount of time that you spend with these people because it will wear on you once the damage is done all you can do is repair yourself but once you understand and recognize that the damage is happening you cannot continue to operate in the same fashion because it's going to continue to get worse I get so many messages for from people who are like older they're like maybe in their 50s or 60s and they're like I wish I would have discovered what narcissism was when I was 19 years old they tell me all the time that they have given up so much of themselves to a narcissist and that they've had so many mental issues become a, because of it. A lot of people go into a very deep, dark depression and they can't get out of it. Um, they're codependent for the rest of their lives. They continue to choose narcissistic people to be a part of their lives. They continue to choose friends who are narcissists, um, mates who are narcissists. Um, they continue to put themselves in environments that is surrounded by people who are narcissistic. So the sooner that you discover it, of course, the better it is for you. But once you discover it, you have to figure out how to maneuver around it, how to be able to exist in the same place as them, but minimize the effects that you have of them. So I will be making a, another separate video about how to um, maneuver around narcissists. But for this video, I just really want to discuss the what you how you feel when you discover this and what type of life you look forward to after having this and how when you start to discover other people around you have it sometimes you will once again second guess yourself and wonder if you're the one that's crazy once I realized that my father was narcissist I also discovered that so was my sister and my sister was a completely different type of narcissist than my father but nonetheless a narcissist so nonetheless um she's also damaging me in so many different ways and because she's a covert narcissist it was harder to see uh, my father is an overt narcissist so once I knew and understood what a narcissist was I could see him coming from a mile away just like I could see other people who were overt narcissists but covert narcissists they're more sneaky they're behind the shadows um, so those are the ones that are a little bit harder to pinpoint but regardless you do start to notice that this is a very serious situation to be in and you realize the effects that it has had on you. I admire people who are like, I discovered that my husband was a narc or I discovered my wife was or someone that I was really close to and I completely cut, cut no contact and I didn't look back. Those are the people that I applaud. But there are some of us that have a harder time going no contact no matter how beneficial it is to us because we have spent and invested so many years with these people. If you've been married for 25 years and you discover that your significant other is a narcissist and that you've been in a completely crappy marriage it's gonna take you some time to build up the courage to completely walk away
It's going to take you some time to fully accept that 25 years has been a lie. That's a lot. That's huge. So a lot of people leave messages and they're like, you need to go no contact. You need to leave. And maybe that was like the easiest thing for you to do or it was hard, but you have the courage to do it. But some of us need a little bit more time and we need a little bit more discovering and everyone's situation is different. So for me, life after narcissism means continuing to educate myself and continuing those around me continuing to use YouTube and any other source that I can as an outlet to be able to pretty much throw up my feelings but also share in this community of people who are also suffering just like me. Um, this has been such a crazy up and down road for me because I still have moments in time where I'm like oh my god he's a narcissist. And he's been one his entire life. And I still have memories and things that happened to me as a child that I'm still having a hard time accepting. I'm still having a hard time dealing with. It's a lot because life doesn't stop when you have issues. When you have issues and you have problems, life doesn't pause for you to get it together. It continues to move on. So you have to find a way to still be present and have a place in this world, but also still dealing and accepting with what you have. There's a lot of people out there who are parents and who are married and who have so many different obligations and so many people, but they're suffering with themselves on the inside. And they can't say, okay, I'm going to stop being a mom for the day. I'm going to stop filling whatever role I have to fulfill for today or for a week or for a year until I get over with whatever I'm dealing with inside of my head and then I'll come back to being a mom. It doesn't work that way. You have to find out how to be a mom and how to heal with what you're doing uh, with what you're going through. So I still consider myself as someone who is healing and continuing to discover life after finding out my father is a narcissist. It has been a tough journey, but reading all of you guys' stories and using this channel as an outlet has helped me in so many ways. Please continue to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what videos you guys would like to see, and thank you.